Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make this spring inspired wreath. You can customize it for Easter or really any occasion. So what I'm going to be using today is this wreath. Let's see what it says. The packaging it says willow wreath from the floral garden. And it's just a small circular wreath from the Dollar Tree. Just about all these items are from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to set that aside. You're going to need your hot glue gun and, of course, glue sticks. You're going to need some type of greenery or florals. I think I'm going to be using these. Now, these are all from the Dollar Tree except for these blue ones. Let me move them to the side. So, I have a couple sets of lilacs. These darker purple these lighter purple so I have two each of those I probably won't use all of those but we'll see um, I wanted to add some pop of white so I found these cherry blossoms they're very cute and guys these are all from the Dollar Tree and then I kind of wanted to add like a touch of blue so I decided to pick up these from Michaels these are spring print temps I believe they're called and these were they're by Ashlyn and they were two something they were regular price $3.99 but at Michael's all of their florals are 40% off and these look pretty realistic but I thought it would be a really nice touch with these so again you guys can customize this any way that you would like um, you're also going to need some floral some wire cutters, I believe these are called. I got this from the Dollar Tree also. And then whatever type of accents you want to add. I'm not sure what I will use. But I just wanted to show you guys some options. These are all from the Dollar Tree. And that's about all that you'll need for this DIY. So guys, you're going to start off by trimming off your florals you can decide whether you want to keep the green how tall or short you want to make the wreath um i kind of want to have mines like going in this sh sort of shape so i do want to leave a nice like a nice length so that I could bend them and twist them how I like. All right. So I think that this is a good length for me. I'm probably not going to use these leaves. So I'm just going to pull them off. And all we're going to do is glue, stick them in there and glue them down all the way around. So I'm going to do a time lapse because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see me cut all of these and I'll come back. All right, guys. So here I'm just trimming all of my florals. Now, in the beginning, I did say that you want to leave like a nice length of the branch. But honestly, I ended up going back and retrimming all of them for the cherry blossoms. You really can just pluck them off. If you want to follow exactly how I did this one, because I just glued them in the very middle of the wreath. Um, for these blue ones, I tore each of them out individually, and I kind of regretted doing that. I wish that I would have left a little bit more of the stalk. It would have been easier to um, glue it to the wreath because they are, like, really soft and flimsy. So here I'm just arranging my florals and gluing them in. Now, a little tip for you guys when you're using your glue gun. Um, I just put glue on the very tip of those green stems, the bottom part, and just stuck it inside of the wood where I wanted it. Um, you're going to get like a lot of those strings from the hot glue. Don't worry about any of that, guys. Just leave them there to the very end and just simply pull them off. And I did at the end end up adding more of the blue. I felt like it needed more once I added the ribbon. And here I'm just going by eye. I'm not following any type of pattern. And I'm just gluing in those cherry blossoms. It added a really pretty, nice, soft touch to it. 
Okay, guys, so this is what I came up with. So what I did was I used a pattern for these purple flowers and these blue. So I just did dark, light, dark, light, dark, light. And then I went in between the two and I added the blue to stick out. You guys can do whatever is pleasing to your eye, whatever looks good to you. I just took these cherry blossoms and stuck them in the middle. I wish that more of the brown was showing, but you guys can leave it like just like this. And maybe like add some, you can actually just stick it on the top because of the way that this wreath is shaped, the wood. It will fit perfectly on those um what do you call it the door hangers it will fit perfectly you can add any type of bows or ribbon but honestly this will look beautiful just like this All right, guys, so this is actually the finished result. Um, I think it came out so beautiful. Uh, I, as I mentioned earlier, I did um, add the burlap ribbon in the middle. And I added some more of the blue. I think it gave it a really nice, beautiful, soft touch. Um, and this wreath, guys, believe it or not, costs about $9 or less. Um, I used four, well, five bundles of florals and then... That's five dollars. The actual wreath six. The blue um flowers about two bucks, seven, eight, and some change. And then also the ribbon nine. So under ten dollars. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Um, make sure that you guys like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, comment below. Let me know what some of your thoughts are, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.